Good morning, you are watching the Daily Scrum News and I am your host Vincent Cortez. Last night's provincial leaders debate may have just won the newly minted Green Party leader Sonia first and now another term as the MLA for Couch and Valley. Heading into the debate, first and now needed to express with certainty why the Green Party was the best party to form the next government. In last night's debate, not only did first and now reaffirm to her party and its members their decision to elect her to lead the party, she may have secured enough seats to form the official opposition. With the calling of a snap election by NDP Premier Horgan and the Liberals gently nursing self-inflicted wounds, British Columbians may be in for an October surprise. The night was set up to be an easy win for Premier Horgan until the question about race was asked by moderator Shetshay Curl. How have you personally reckoned with your own privilege and unconscious bias as a white political leader? Liberal leader Wilkinson reflected on his time as a doctor working with indigenous people and felt the experience humanized him. The answer was vague and lacked the substance you would expect from the man wanting to be Premier of British Columbia. Wilkinson's response was also disappointing and puzzling. If working with the indigenous community humanized him, what was he before? Premier Horgan's response to the question on white privilege was not only wrong, it was tone-deaf to today's environment. For me, I did not see color. I felt that everyone around me was the same. I brought that through my entire adult life, and I've instilled that in my children, said Horgan. I do not see color or I am colorblind are responses you would expect from a rookie politician, not the premier of British Columbia. His response cast doubt on his comprehension of race and its underlying issues. It also draws comparison to Manitoba's premier Brian Pallister when he was asked to comment on the tens of thousands of Manitobans who peacefully marched to support the Black Lives Matter movement. He responded, all lives matter. The Manitoba premier had to be educated that his response was a racial trope used by anti-Black Life Matters extremists. Manitoba's premier is also an older white privileged millionaire who has been said to be out of touch with issues relating to the indigenous community. The Green Party leader first and now was the only candidate to actually answer the moderator's question of what it's like to be a white privileged politician. We aren't all equal. I wish we were, but we're not. The three of us cannot reckon what that's like because we are white, but we have to, in our roles, work to end that systemic racism," said Furstenau. Her response was honest and genuine. In that very moment, she signaled to British Columbians she is ready to lead. Most importantly, she told minorities and the indigenous communities she is ready to have the difficult conversations about race and that she will be a premier for everyone. Premier Horgan in a post-debate scrum apologized for his comments about being colorblind. I certainly mischaracterized the challenges that people of color face every day, he said. It was inappropriate to say that I don't see color. That was a mistake on my part. I have to work every day to improve on that, as do all leaders that aren't of color. Until we meet again, this is Vincent Cortez signing off for the Daily Scrum News.